Hi guys, my name's Carmen. I'm here to do the all age slot with you guys today. Today we're going to look at hope and what that means. Now, the Bible says there are three important things in life. Faith, hope and love. So we'll focus on hope today. Now, I wonder what you wanted to be when you were younger, or if you are young, what you want to be now? What are your hopes for the future? I'll tell you what I wanted to be. I wanted to be like David Attenborough. I wanted to save all the animals. That's why I've got all my animals here today. I've got my bear, my dinosaur, my monkey, cow, and my giraffe. <laughs> oh, and I forgot one, the koala bear. I've got all these animals because I wanted to be like David Attenborough. I wanted to save all the animals. I wanted to travel the world. I wanted to go around and see all the different countries, see all the different places that these animals were and help to protect them. Now, I had that hope, but obviously it wasn't a true hope. Have any of you heard of the phrase, put your hope in God? What does that mean? Maybe your hope, like mine, to be rich or um, travel the world or um, be sporty or be famous, whatever your hopes are, they may or may not come true. But God is always there and will never let you down. He is the true hope. I'm going to tell you a story to help illustrate this. One night, a house caught fire and a young boy was forced to run to the roof to get away from it. The father stood on the ground below with outstretched arms calling his son, jump, I'll catch you. He knew the boy had to jump to save his life, but all the boy could see was the flames and the smoke and blackness. Of course he was afraid to leave the roof, he couldn't see. But his father kept yelling, jump and I'll catch you. The boy protested, he said, Daddy, I can't see you. His father replied, but I can see you. And that's what counts. So why does that story matter? Well, God can see us. <laughs> Someone once says, I don't know what my future holds, but I know who holds it. God holds each of our futures and so we can put our hope in him. As for me, I didn't become a zoologist. I didn't get to go see all these animals in real life. Um, some of them I have at the zoo, but not in a zoological way. I didn't get to look after them. But instead, I'm on my way to training as a children's pastor. I love working with children um, in schools and putting them into contact with the church and getting schools and churches to work together. And God had that hope for me. He had that better hope for me. And I continue to keep hoping in him because I know he holds my future in his hands. He knows it. He's got it. I just have to trust him and follow what he wants. Let's look at Romans 5 together. It talks about how God gives us hope. That is the hope that we get when we are saved, when we decide to follow Jesus and know with all our hearts that we are children of God. Through faith, we have access to God and his grace and through his grace, we have hope. Isn't that amazing? Why don't you spend some time this week looking at Romans 5 together with the people in your house? Look at it, I find it easier to look at it verse by verse, one at a time, and think about how that verse affects you. How, what does that verse mean? How can you apply it in your life? And what hope does that verse give you? I find Romans 5 so encouraging to read when you're feeling like you don't have that hope. You're that boy on top of the roof and you're going, I don't want to jump, I can't see. Read it and see if you can maybe get a bit more trust, a bit more hope in God to give you the confidence to just jump. Jump into his arms and let him catch you.
see you soon.